Good morning everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video where we will be diving deep into the fascinating world of quantum mechanics, specifically exploring the mysterious concept of the wave function. The wave function is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics that describes the behavior of subatomic particles, and it plays a crucial role in understanding the behavior of matter and energy at the smallest scales. In this video, we will be discussing what the wave function is, how it works, and the implications it has for our understanding of the universe. So sit back, relax, and get ready to explore the strange and wondrous world of quantum mechanics. The wave function is a mathematical description of a quantum system. It is a complex value function that describes the probability of finding a particle in a particular state at a particular location. In other words, the wave function gives us information about the behavior of a subatomic particle, such as an electron or a photon. The wave function is often denoted by the Greek letter C, and its value at any point in space and time is given by the square of its magnitude. This means that the probability of finding a particle in a particular state at a particular location is proportional to the magnitude squared of the wave function of that location. One of the most important aspects of the wave function is its wave-like behavior. The wave function can be thought of as a wave that spreads out in space and time, just like ripples on the surface of a pond. This wave-like behavior is what gives rise to the famous double-slit experiment, where particles can exhibit interference patterns that are characteristic of waves. Another important feature of the wave function is its preposition principle. This means that a particle can exist in multiple states simultaneously, and its wave function is a combination of all these states. This concept is fundamental to understanding the phenomenon of quantum entanglement, where the states of two particles can be linked together even when they are separated by vast distances. The wave function also plays a crucial role in determining the energy levels of quantum systems. The Schrodinger equation, which is the fundamental equation of quantum mechanics, allows us to calculate the wave function of a system and determine its energy levels. This equation takes into account the potential energy of the system and the kinetic energy of the particles. It's important to note that the wave function is a purely mathematical construct and does not represent a physical object. It is simply a tool that we use to describe the behavior of subatomic particles in the quantum realm. However, it is a powerful tool that has allowed us to make incredible advances in fields such as quantum computing, quantum cryptography, and quantum mechanics as a whole. In conclusion, the wave function is a mathematical description of the probability of finding a subatomic particle in a particular state at a particular location. It exhibits wave-like behavior and follows the principle of spurt position. It plays a crucial role in determining the energy levels of quantum systems and has led to incredible advances in fields such as quantum computing and cryptography. The wave function is a mathematical function that describes the quantum state of a system. The most common notation used to represent the wave function is the Greek letter C, and it is a complex value function of the position coordinates of the particle or particles being described. Mathematically, the wave function is a solution to the Schrodinger equation, which is the fundamental equation of quantum mechanics. The Schrodinger equation describes how the wave function of a quantum system evolves over time, and it is written as I slash t equals where I is the imaginary unit, is the reduced Planck constant, t is time, is the wave function, and is the Hamiltonian operator. The Hamiltonian operator represents the total energy of the quantum system, including its potential and kinetic energy. It is written as equals 2 half sam 2 plus v x, where m is the mass of the particle being described, 2 is the Laplacian operator, and v x is the potential energy of the system. To give a real example, let's consider the hydrogen atom. The hydrogen atom consists of a proton in the nucleus and an electron in orbit around the nucleus. The wave function of the hydrogen atom can be written as x, y, z, equals r, r, y, where r, r, is the radial component of the wave function and y, is the angular component. The radial component describes the probability density of finding the electron at a particular distance from the nucleus, while the angular component describes the orientation of the electron's orbital. The radial component of the wave function can be calculated using the radial Schrodinger equation, which is given by 2 half sem d2r slash dr2 plus 2r dr slash dr plus l l plus 1 2 half sem r2 plus v r r equals r where l is the quantum number that describes the angular momentum of the electron v r is the potential energy of the system and e is the total energy of the system. The solution to this equation gives us the radial component of the wave function, which can be used to calculate the probability density of finding the electron at a particular distance from the nucleus. In conclusion, the wave function is a complex-valued mathematical function that describes the quantum state of the system. 
It is a solution to the Schrodinger equation, which describes how the wave function evolves over time. The wave function of the hydrogen atom is an example of a real-world application of the wave function, where it is used to describe the behavior of the electron in the hydrogen atom. The origin of the wave function can be traced back to the development of quantum mechanics in the early 20th century. Prior to the advent of quantum mechanics, classical mechanics was the dominant framework for describing the behavior of physical systems. In classical mechanics, the behavior of a particle could be described by its position and velocity at any given moment in time. However, when scientists began to study the behavior of particles at the subatomic level, they discovered that classical mechanics was no longer sufficient to describe their behavior. Particles at the quantum level exhibited wave-like behavior, and their behavior could only be described probabilistically. This led to the development of quantum mechanics, which introduced the concept of the wave function as a mathematical tool for describing the probability of finding a particle in a particular state at a particular location. The wave function was first introduced by Erwin Schrödinger in 1926. Schrödinger proposed a wave equation that described the behavior of particles in terms of a wave function. This equation, known as the Schrödinger equation, allowed scientists to calculate the probability density of finding a particle in a particular state at a particular location. Schrödinger's equation was later reformulated by Werner Heisenberg and Max Born, who introduced the concept of the probability amplitude. The probability amplitude was a complex value function that described the probability of a particle being in a particular state. The wave function was further developed and refined by other scientists, including Paul Dirac and Richard Feynman, who made significant contributions to the field of quantum mechanics. Today, the wave function is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics and is used to describe the behavior of particles at the subatomic level. The wave function has led to many important applications in areas such as quantum computing, quantum cryptography, and quantum chemistry. In quantum mechanics, the wave function is a mathematical description of the probability amplitude of a particle or system of particles. The wave function is represented by the Greek letter C and is a complex function of the coordinates of the particles in the system. Here are the main keys of the wave function. Probability amplitude. The wave function is a probability amplitude, which means that the square of the magnitude of the wave function gives the probability density of finding a particle at a particular location in space. In other words, the wave function tells us the likelihood of finding a particle in a particular state. Normalization. The wave function must be normalized, which means that the total probability of finding the particle, S, must be equal to 1. This is achieved by integrating the square of the magnitude of the wave function over all space. Superposition. The wave function can be in a superposition of multiple states. This means that the wave function can represent a particle that is in two or more different states at the same time. The superposition principle is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics and plays a crucial role in phenomena such as quantum entanglement and interference. Uncertainty principle. The wave function is subject to the uncertainty principle, which states that the more precisely the position of a particle is known, the less precisely its momentum can be known, and vice versa. This means that there is a fundamental limit to how accurately the properties of a particle can be known simultaneously. Schrodinger equation. The wave function evolves over time according to the Schrodinger equation, which is a partial differential equation that describes how the wave function changes in time in response to the potential energy of the system. Solving the Schrodinger equation allows us to predict the behavior of quantum systems. Overall, the wave function is a key concept in quantum mechanics, and understanding its properties and behavior is essential for understanding the behavior of quantum systems. Normalization is a key concept in quantum mechanics, and it refers to the requirement that the total probability of finding a particle, S, in a given space must be equal to 1. In other words, the integral of the square of the magnitude of the wave function over all space must be equal to 1. This ensures that the probability of finding the particle, S, somewhere in the system is 100%. Mathematically, the normalization condition for the wave function, X, T, is given by x t 2 dx equals 1 where denotes integration over all space and dx is an infinitesimal volume element the square of the magnitude of the wave function represents the probability density of finding a particle at a given point in space therefore integrating the square of the magnitude of the wave function over all space gives the total probability of finding the particle s in the system to ensure that the wave function is normalized we must find a normalization constant a such that x t 2 dx equals a 2 f x t 2 dx equals 1 where f x t is the normalized wave function. Solving for a, we get 
r equals x t 2 dx 1 half. This means that we can normalize any wave function by dividing it by the square root of the integral of the square of its magnitude over all space. In other words, we can define the normalized wave function f x t as f x t equals x t slash x t 2 dx 1 half, where f x t satisfies the normalization condition. F x t 2 dx equals 1 The normalization of the wave function is important because it ensures that the probability of finding a particle s in a given space is well defined and can be interpreted correctly. Additionally, the normalization condition is a fundamental requirement for any physical system that obeys the laws of quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, the wave function is a mathematical function that describes the behavior of a particle or system of particles. The amplitude of the wave function, represented by the Greek letter C, provides information about the probability of finding the particle, S, in a particular state. Specifically, the square root of the magnitude of the amplitude gives the probability density of finding a particle, S, in a particular location in space. The amplitude of the wave function is a complex number, which means that it has both a magnitude and a phase. The magnitude of the amplitude determines the probability density of finding the particle, S, at a given location in space, while the phase of the amplitude determines the interference effects that can occur when two or more wave functions interact. To understand the concept of amplitude probability, consider a simple example of a particle that can be in one of two possible states, labeled as up and down. The amplitude of the wave function at any given point in space represents the probability of finding the particle in that state. If the particle is in the up state, the amplitude at that point in space will have a larger magnitude than if the particle is in the down state. The square root of the magnitude of the amplitude gives the probability density of finding the particle, S, in a given location in space. For example, if the particle is in the up state, the probability density will be higher in regions where the amplitude is large, and lower in regions where the amplitude is small. One important consequence of the amplitude probability is that it allows for the existence of quantum spurt position. This means that a particle can be in two or more states simultaneously, each with its own amplitude and probability density. For example, a particle can be in a superposition of the up and down states, with the amplitude of each state determining its relative probability. In summary, the amplitude probability of the wave function is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics, and it provides information about the probability of finding a particle, S, in a particular state. The magnitude of the amplitude determines the probability density of finding the particle, S, in a given location in space, while the phase of the amplitude determines the interference effects that can occur when two or more wave functions interact. Good day.